I have a lot of anxiety. Um, I have a lot of anger, and I'm just deeply upset. Precious memories and personal information are now gone and stolen. It happened to a mother of three, and it could happen to anyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Amber Grigley. WRTV's Nikki Dementry met up with one central Indiana woman who was sharing her story after her storage unit was robbed, and now she's warning others. Never in your life do you think it's going to happen to you. But it did on July 4th. Well, when we first turned the corner and we saw it, we were just in shock. We, we didn't know what to think. The Allen family fell on hard times, needing to move in with family during the pandemic. Adrian Allen says downsizing is the reason some of their personal belongings had to stay in a storage unit here at Secure Care Self Storage off of Kentucky Avenue near 465. And we've depended on these, these storage companies to store our lives. So when you pull up and see something like that, you, you're heartbroken. Earlier this month, the Allens came to find this. Thieves pried open the door where the lock slid into the track. A safe, softball equipment, and toolbox were among some of the items taken. You just feel broken. You feel lost with having things that are irreplaceable items stolen. And it just wasn't their unit. Allen says she noticed at least three other units also burglarized that day, and areas of the security fence were also broken. These are things that people cannot get back and that they can't pass down to their children because of something that you've taken from them. A few weeks later, Allen says management here called her to let her know someone else used her personal check to try and reserve another unit at this same location. Allen says that check came from her stolen safe. Everything that we've worked so hard to provide for our children, you've taken. Since the break-in, the Allen family moved out of their unit and came back this weekend to drop off paperwork. She's filed at least three police reports with IMPD. All I'm doing is encouraging you to check on your things, check on your lives, because so many of us have had it stolen, and some of us don't even know it. Off camera, I spoke with the manager at this location. Allen says she's been helpful and supportive during this time, but the manager here asked I call the area manager for comment. We left several voicemails. My name's Nikki Dementry. I'm a reporter with WRTV. But have yet to hear back as of Sunday afternoon. Where do you go from here? Honestly, I don't know. Working for you, Nikki Dementry, WRTV. And Alan told WRTV this weekend she's considering hiring a lawyer to resolve these issues and wants whoever did this to be brought to justice. The family did have tenant insurance, but more was taken than what would be covered under the policy. Alan adds that she's waiting for more guidance on this. WRTV also reached out to IMPD for any updates on Alan's cases, uh, but we were told they were unable to provide updates on the weekends. And of course, we will be following up with the agency sometime this week. Some things to keep in mind, storage unit companies almost always require insurance, but coverage options can vary from one company to another. The most common ways to gain coverage are to purchase insurance from the storage facility, use your own coverage, or go through a third party. The Insurance Information Institute says some storage companies may try to force you to use their insurance, but you should compare what they offer to you versus what your insurance offers. If the storage company doesn't budge, consider looking elsewhere.